Jake Solomon, lead designer of XCOM Enemy Unknown. So I started playing XCOM um, in 1994, uh, and since then it's been my favorite game. I still play it to this day, and really that's the reason that uh, I make games now. Like That game was formative for me. Um, that was right before I went off to college, and because of that game, I got a computer science degree, and, and that's the reason that I'm sitting here. So for me to be making this game, it's just really, it's a dream come true for me. I sort of viewed it as my role then to be the salesman for that original game because I feel so strong about it. I'm, I'm, I'm right up there with the world's biggest fans. And so um, I sort of was excited by the opportunity to introduce all the people on my team who had never played the game before uh, to this incredible uh, game. And I think that with the original, there was this huge adjustment period where they were surprised by just how brutal the game was. You know, like challenge was definitely a major element of the original game. And so it's that classic XCOM moment of you've got all these guys on the drop ship and you're really fired up and you're ready to step off. And then immediately everybody gets their faces blown off within the first turn. And I'm very excited by that. And I say, isn't that wonderful? Or on Fridays, we'd get a bunch of beer, we'd sit down. Um, and I would walk people through playing the game. And what we saw was that people would take those games and they would continue to play after the event and then throughout the week. So when they came back the next week, they had already played 20, 30 hours on their own. And for me, that was really gratifying to see that that game that meant so much to me. And obviously, I have so much emotion tied up in that title. But it was really exciting to see how people who had no experience with it before still latched on to those game mechanics. We started with a prototype that was very, very close to the original game. And we said, look, these are these core elements of the original game that, that we want to, um, to be translated into the modern element. And that's the things like the fog of war, the environmental destruction, uh, the nature of challenge, which is important. Um, and the real high stakes combat where you know your soldiers can actually die and they won't come back. Um, those really high stakes moments that create a feeling of real success. And so what happened is that you know as the game evolved and as we modified the mechanics, we found that those original um, concepts of environmental destruction and challenge, they remained because I think that those are universal. Um, the underlying mechanics, of course, we modified based on everything we know uh, based on you know new design techniques that we have based on you know all the different things we've learned as an industry but really the core elements of that original game they have translated beautifully to modern systems and to modern gameplay we have this thing that we call internally we call the glam cam and we took a lot of inspiration from bethesda and their vats camera from the fallout game and what happens is that in a lot of dramatic shots, we can bring that camera in and show your soldier lining up that shot and show that beautiful kill shot. Um, and it has this really, it really uh, sort of reinforces like the, the nature of combat. It's very visceral. And so that's something we're uh, really excited about as well. It's always been the question, you know, why hasn't this game been made? And the reason is because it's, it's absolutely insane as a game. I mean, it has destructible environments and 3D fog of war, and it has, uh, missions that take place around the world and all these different elements, the alien environments, the human environments. And then that's just a combat game. On top of that, there's this entire strategic layer where you're interacting with the governments of the world, you're um, staffing a base, customizing this huge base. It's this insane game with this insane ambition and scope. And I think that it's something that resonates so strongly with people because there still is nothing like it. And I'm so excited to introduce that to uh, new people.